What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name's Danny Matthews. Have you ever ran into the problem where your subject is backlit and it is just too dark and their face is just not able to pull up to where it needs to be unless you overexpose the sky and you don't want to overexpose the sky. So how do you fix that in Adobe Premiere? So let's jump into Adobe Premiere and I'll show you how. All right, so now that you're in Adobe Premiere, what we have here is once you have your clip that you have backlit, you can see that on here when we look at our luminetry scope and we go ahead and try to expose for the skin tone, we can see that the sky gets blown out when we just try to have the face relatively exposed to what it needs to be. And that's not what we wanna do. So let's go ahead and correct this. So on here, what you wanna do is go ahead and create an adjustment layer, which I've already done here. Go ahead and put this on top of the entire clip. And what you're gonna wanna do next is go ahead and just expose the sky the way you want it to be. So we're gonna kinda just put it there, maybe some shadows, add some highlights. Come over here to your adjustment layer. And what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and just adjust something on the luminetry color here, and it's gonna open up the effect for you in the effects control. Once you're here in the luminetry, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and open up your create an ellipse and go ahead and put it over your subject's face. Go ahead and do adjust it to what it needs to be. Go ahead and to expose the skin tone correctly. We're just gonna do a quick little. Now you can see that looking at this, there's obviously a difference between the sky and what's going on on his face. There's a huge circle here that's highlighted. What we're gonna do is go ahead and feather the heck out of this to where it's just over his face. Go ahead and change the expansion as well by downing it just a little bit and you can see the huge difference in the face crazy difference in the face it just brings you into the video really just focusing on the subject which is what we want compared to when it's backlit and his face is dark it's just not going to be drawing in as much you can see there's a little bit of a halo around it but that's okay you can't really notice it when you're watching it as a viewer and when you put your final grade on this as well it will start blending everything together last step is to go ahead and create a mask path and go ahead and track this so that it stays on his face throughout the entire clip go ahead and click on the animation and hit track selection mask forward go ahead and let it do its tracking progress and as you can see it stuck to his face extremely well and if you have any issues you can come in here and just readjust any keyframes that may have messed up but for the most part Adobe Premiere they've updated enough where it's actually freaking amazing so you can see that his face is now exposed we can go ahead and see our before and our after this is our before and this is our after. Huge difference in the making and you can make all of your adjustments to his face on this adjustment layer. Now this is an extreme example. Most footage that you're gonna be going through won't have this extreme uh, light between darkness ratio between the face. But you can see that in the extreme cases, this will work well for you. All right guys, so that's how you expose a subject correctly when it is backlit in Adobe Premiere. If you have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave it down below in the comments and I'll get back to you guys on that ASAP. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.